Hmm. We're taking classic fish and chips, but making them into a sandwich and bam. I love fish and chips. I love fish and chips. But now we take those fish and chips and make them into a sandwich? How could this be bad? How could this be bad? What's your favorite fish and chips? Poppies. We love poppies in, uh, in London. It's Roll great. The footage. Roll the footage, Max. Okay, now it's time for fish and chips. And we come to a personal favorite. Poppy's fish and chips. Poppy uses sustainably sourced fish has a cult following, awards up the wazoo, and there's a ton of action in their retro 50s restaurant. And of course, you can eat inside, or as they say here, takeaway. Think about it, a California burrito, it's protein steak with fries in it. So for us to put fish with fries just in a sandwich form, how could that be bad? Here's the answer, it can't. It could only be delicious. We make tartar sauce. The whole thing comes together beautifully. And here's the order. We make the batter and bang it in the fridge for half an hour. We make the tartar sauce, put that in the fridge. We cut up potatoes, we make some fries. Uh, might as well, we'll fry them twice. Fry them once, then we fry the fish, then we fry the fries again. We build everything, we eat it, and then we all go home. Well, I'm home. They go home. And you're at home, so only they're leaving. Batter first. Here's how we begin. Bowl, whisk, nice. We're gonna start with like a half a cup of flour and cornstarch. And what will the cornstarch do, Max? Crispy. Nice, very good. Geez, Chance, where were you on that? <laughs> Little salt and pepper. We season all the steps along the way. And now our liquid will be some Guinness. Mix, and in we go. I don't even know what song that is. Look at this color. I don't want a thick batter. I don't want it too thin. I want it just right. Goldilocks batter. What does that mean? Oh, Goldilocks batter. Oh, I get it. There, Goldilocks batter. All right, this into the fridge and this into my mouth. Oh, it's delicious. All right, tartar sauce next. Here's what we're using. Maybe unconventional, but I like it. It's a little bit lighter, but no less delicious. Non-fat Greek yogurt, just like that. Just a little cup. And to this, we will add the following. Some fresh chopped dill. Damn. And to continue that dill flavor, we're gonna put a little pickle in here for just a little crunch. Max and Chance, you get it? Got it. Shit, somebody's gonna win one of those knives at the end of the video, huh? Somebody's gonna win one of these knives at the end of the video. That is correct, Max. That is correct. I don't know who conned us into that. Whose idea was that? Giving away like 50 of these things. Oh, it was yours. <laughs> Okay, just little bits, little tiny bits. Got it? Little bits, little bits. And when your pickle's chopped up, of course, and it goes. Your pickle to yogurt ratio is up to you. I like a lot. And by the way, if you don't want to use yogurt because you're opposed to it for some reason, then don't. Then use mayonnaise if you want. I'm not going to get mad at you. Remember, this is about what you want. Just because I'm telling you to do this doesn't mean you have to. A little squeeze of lemon, a little pinch of salt and pepper. Remember, we're seasoning along the way, and we mix. That's what you want. Chunky. Oh, baby. There you go. Now that's a nice quick little tartar sauce. All right, in the fridge, and we cut potatoes. That's it. Yukon Golds. I, I had an idea about making them thin and round. I think you would call those potato chips. And Max was like, no. Why are you trying to change things unnecessarily? It's not one of your finest ideas. I have some ideas sometimes that maybe aren't so fine. So what do you like? You like a thicker a thicker fry? Yeah, I think with the, I'm thinking of poppies. They, the, the fries have some, some heft to them. I heft? Think. You have some heft I'm to you. Just trying to remember. Well, let me just do this. How's this? Do you like this? Oh, you don't like that? No, no, I, yeah, I like it. Uh, look, I'm thinking like just maybe like that one's a little too thick. And then that's perfect. How's Boom. that? Well, this guy. That Boom. guy's too big. Sure, cut that bitch in half. Bitch. Oh, look, regular french fries. That's fine. I can deal with this. Okay, well, then you made them too thin. No, these guys are so, okay. You always cut them like little babies. That, how's this? This is good, right? Yeah. This, you like this, right? I like them. Fine. This is good. Okay. We got fries. We got oil that's, uh, I think, near temp. F it, let's go. Our oil's about three and a quarter. Our first fry begins now. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Chunky fries. Long tongs, they exist. They do, where are they? Oh, I used them over, oh yeah. We give them a little bit of this, and we're gonna let them go maybe five minutes or so. First fry, first fry, first fry. And after uh, five-ish minutes, these guys aren't done, but they're ready to come out, because don't forget they're getting a second chance in the oil chance. You know what? I'm really glad I decided to make these chunky. 
Because look how good they are. Ooh, you wanted to make them like the size of dimes. No. You're like, I'll cut little dimes off the potato. It'll they weren't. Great. They weren't going to be dimes. No nickels. They were going to be silver dollars. <laughs> These are going to sit for a bit? And yes, essentially potato chips. These are going to sit for a bit? We can now prep our fish. Look how great these fucking things are going to be. Thank you Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Thrive is an online membership-based grocery store. Their mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. Because as we know, sometimes you pay more for the healthy stuff. And that just chaps my hide. A yearly membership is $60 and they guarantee, they guarantee you will make it back in the savings on the products you buy or they will credit you the difference. How do you not like that? And they have a cash back program, which by the way is one of my favorites. Just look for the Thrive Cash button in the bottom left hand corner. Whether you live far away from a health food store, you just don't have time to go scope out all these products yourself, Thrive is your best friend. And Sam, you might be wondering, well, what kind of things do they have? Well, I'm going to show you the things that they have, starting with my absolute favorite organic extra virgin olive oil that they carry. This stuff is always on my counter and it should be on your counter, but wait, don't stop there. Go out of a little cocktail party. They got you covered with these amazing Italian salamis and dolmas, these little stuff grape leaves. Greek, I love them. If you're into baking, turbinado sugar, which I love. Infused maple syrup, which is fantastic. How about regular organic maple syrup? For your savory needs, you've got the great bone broth that they always have. Ghee that you should be using for a lot of your high heat cooking. Coconut milk, I always have. You need a little Genovese pesto for some pasta you're making. They've got this covered. Holiday cooking is coming and you need sage. They've got this great brand of organic rub sage. And then I know a lot of people love balsamic glaze on top of tomatoes and mozzarella cheese. Just go to thrivemarket.com and start scoping the pages of stuff because pretty much anything that you could want, they're gonna have. You're gonna save money. You're gonna get great healthy products. You're gonna be very happy and isn't that the point. But really, I think it's about saving. So start off saving right away. Go to thrivemarket.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy to get 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $60. That's thrivemarket.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy. They've got your back. They've got my back. I've got your back. This is getting weird. I have to end this somehow. All right, it's time. Here's some flour. Here's our what's this called again? Our batter. And here's some fish. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to take piece of fish, white fish. This happens to be halibut. It could be cod. Poppies that we've already talked about gives you a choice in London. Now we'll take the kid, knock off the excess flour, we'll put them on our batter, nicely covered and ready for the fryer. And we're in. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think that's going to take about uh, seven-ish minutes. At the halfway point, I'll add some fries. All right, let's just give our little friend a turn. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna add a little handful of fries to this. We don't need too many. Let's just put some in. There we go. Fries will cook as the fish finishes. Everything will be delicious. And we're there. So out comes our fish. Wow, look how beautiful. That's fantastic. And our, our chips, fish and chips. Long live the queen. Wait, I'll save that for when I eat this. Oh, I said your fish and chips already. <laughs> All right, let's build this biatch. All right, first things first, fresh fries. Get a little salt, nice, and our fish. Now we can build. We have a bun that we toasted lightly on the grill. This is a little green cabbage slaw with nothing but a little Japanese mayo in it because we can. We haven't seasoned it, so we will a tiny bit. Next up, beautiful piece of fish. Nice. And then some fries. How do we want to do this? Do you want? Yeah, see. like a log cabin, like. Yeah. So why don't we do like, all right. So there's our guys right here. And our tartar sauce will go on our top bun like this. Oh, damn. Oh, snap. Sniz out, as we say. Well, I don't know what to say other than I just want to eat it. Crispy, beautiful, crispy, beautiful. The little light angel hair cabbage on the bottom, the tartar sauce, the brioche bun, our bun of choice. We always use these, but we love them. So let's just not fuck around anymore. It's time for a bite. Hmm. <laughs> what you think? I don't, fly. I know what the fly thinks and I know what I think. Here's my bite. I'm going to this corner right here. So I got everything all lined up. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> what? It's a disaster. It's all over me. Oh my god. I love fish and chips. But somehow this, yes, with the extra carbs. Do I need it? No, I don't need it. It's so good. It's so good. It makes me want to give away a seven inch Sam the Cooking Guy Nikuri knife. And it's going to Daryl Crone. Congratulations. We'll reach out to you, get your address, and send it to you. And do you know why Daryl's getting it? Daryl's getting it because he's a subscriber and he went to shopsdcg.com and he signed up for, and he signed up for, that fucking noise over there. And he signed up for SMS and email. That's why. <laughs> That's why he's getting it. All right, I gotta eat this. See ya. Go do the same thing. You could win a knife, just like Daryl. Oh my God, you gotta make this.